What's going on, Rob here at Jack of All Trades, Master of None, Trev 2323. We're heading to the boat and RV show right now. We get parked right here and we're in the underground oversized parking because I got my big girl with us. That's why I always call my van the big girl. So either way, we're going in 2017 boat and RV show. All right, we're in the McCormick Place walking right now to the boat and RV show. Uh, this time we actually got to park in parking lot A. Last time we parked in parking lot B. A is inside right by the Air Crown Theater. $23 for flat rate and you could prepay to get in the park for 24 hours. But uh, if you park in the parking lot B, let me tell you, you got a long walk because we did that last year. So the good thing is we got a long walk still to get to the boat show, but it's an indoor long walk. Okay, we're still walking, still walking, but I wanted to show you Chicago. In the background, all the way over there, that's Chicago. Chicago is actually a really beautiful city. It wouldn't be for all the damn crime in Chicago. But I do like living here. I won't move here because we got Lake Michigan right here. Even though Chicago charges us an arm and a leg for the water, we do have fresh water. There it is in the background. And we're coming to it right here. I think I see the sign for it to come in. Yep, there it is all the way in the background. The Progressive Chicago Boat and RV Strictly Sales Show. That's it right there. We wear our jackets in because I know it's a long walk from the parking garage to here. And we pay to check our jackets over here. But uh, everybody, everybody, everybody comes here because this is where I come all the time. And I got a little 16 foot boat. I do want a bigger boat, but of course that's more money. I would like a bigger boat that I could actually pay to park. But the parking around us, the cheapest to moor your boat is 960 a year. And the uh, uh, closest to us is like 2600 a year. Either way, we're about to go in right now. Oh, there's okay. Either way, this is a cobalt. That's the size boat that I want to upgrade to. These are the bass boats, but we're on Lake Michigan. I need something a little bit deeper. But uh, I know with that name right there itself, I'm not even gonna stop there. The cobalt, although this London's very nice right here. They got the Minkota 55. That's the one that I'm looking to upgrade to. Yeah, and like I said, this is actually something that, that I would look to buy when I when I come here. The pontoons, the pontoons were real, they're beautiful, but they won't really do nothing for us. We need a big, a kind of a bigger boat here. A uh, Mercury 60, but look, this is what I tend to look at and it's not here. I always take pictures right here by these boats right here. Because my wife is trying to get out the picture right here. She's a speed demon, so when she sees these motors... I got my little 25 that she maxes out. She's uh, she. I mean, she loves speed. I mean, she'll rooster tail anything in a heartbeat. So, if my honey has something like that. I'd be, I'd be the one screaming. <laughs> Trying to get my honey while hanging right here. That's my, that's my honey right there. I actually went on a jet ski with her, and on the jet ski, I was the one screaming. All right, now we're going to the boat that I could afford right here at the boat show. The little mini jet right here. It, is, it looks like a little Zodiac. It's actually pretty cool. You can sit right here in the back. Your girlfriend can sit right there in the front. And it's only $25,699. All right, now this is beautiful right here. Why I brought you here is because this is how I want to paint my van, this color flake, but with a uh, uh, maroon. This thing is beautiful right here. Well, like I said, this is one that I wouldn't be able to drive back and forth every day. Oh, sorry. That's my wife said, don't show him the beer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I got a... Well, hopefully you didn't see the name of what beer I'm drinking. But either way, it goes... Uh, the one... That's that's the boat seat that I would have to have docked all the time. Because, you know, to me, something like that, I would hate to have to go back and forth like drop it get it ready go drop it in the water bring it back out you know my boat right now i drop in the water bring it back out 
Now this one behind me is very it's sexy. Like the, it's by Cent Centurion. The trailer. <laughs> this thing is sexy right here. Gotta take off your boots, man. I know. Here. Get that up there for me. Not the picture, just the support. That's it, I'm too short. I knew it could be too This thing is sexy as heck. That's pretty crazy, the speakers. I can hear Mark Anthony everywhere. <laughs> Here's some sailboats, but I'm not the sailboat type of guy. Ooh, that GMC is sexy. Look at that. That color is sexy. That's the color I would love to paint my van with the flake. Yes, with the flake. But these are all the sailboats. They're beautiful on the inside. They look like apartments. But the thing is, uh, I'm not a sailboat type of guy. I'm going to find out the color of this though right here. Okay, that Denali is actually the crimson red tint coat. That's the color I want to paint my van. But I want the gold flake with it. Okay, we did sign in a progressive because he wants to drive the boat. So little kids, is good for them to come here because they do dream build about stuff over here. The uh, progressive way over there, they actually have the fishing where it's like, you, you act, there's actually a thing like you are fishing with a line and it's like if you catch the fish, you're fighting with the fish to bring it in. So I don't want to put my camera too close to the water. But you know, if this were me in my house, I would actually have fish in there. One reason why I like bringing my kids to the boat show is for them to dream build to realize what else is out there. I mean, these things are so beautiful. I'll go up. I'll go up to the food court. My daughter's in the food court right now. Uh, she was hungry. I don't want her to turn into a gremlin. My thing is, the well, first thing I do when I get here is grab a beer because some of these, if you are, sh sorry, some of these, if you are shopping, you will get sticker shock. You know, they say the, a boat is. Uh, some people say that uh, the only two times you love your boat is when you buy it and when you sell it because they say it's a pain in the ass but i don't think so i mean i got my boat and granted i only used it three times last year due to the fact that i'm not retired i'm still working and within those three times i mean it's just peace quiet and tranquility so uh our boat we just take on the lakes around chicago we haven't taken on lake michigan yet although i do see people with the 16 foot john boats on lake michigan coast guard says as long as you're 200 uh yards from shore but i haven't done it yet so uh my thing is eventually within the next couple of years i am gonna buy a bigger boat we almost pulled the trigger and bought a 22 foot boat two years ago although my wife says if you buy that boat you are not gonna fish off of that boat because it was leather it was everything it was beautiful so we're holding off for a little bit longer or if there's somebody looking to sponsor me hey i'll take your boat all right thank you uh we'll keep going around the show and if all y'all don't know this is my grandbaby right here my grandbaby boonie <laughs> Ooh. First time eating pork, <laughs> Isaiah. Clearly. So he's the one. My son actually thought he was going to inherit my big girl, my van, and my boat, but my grandbaby's going to probably inherit it. <laughs> Look at him. I'm kidding. He should be able to get his own by then, though. Okay. So I have the boat show here. One of the things we do get every time we come here: the original Dave's coffee cake. If you have, if you taste coffee cake, and you like coffee cake. These original Dave's coffee cakes are amazing. We took two of these home last time. These in the bamboo pillow. <laughs> These things are amazing. They're the, the depths of the lakes right here. So we are actually here in Chicago. And if you look right around the outer perimeter of Chicago, it's 60 feet. Then you go in, it's 120 feet. You go deeper, it's 180. And you go closer to in the middle of Sagatok, kind of between Chicago and Milwaukee, it's 420. And then it goes to 540. I bet you didn't notice the deepest part of Lake Michigan. Right here. Right here. 924 feet. And that's close by Manistee and Green Bay. These things are beautiful. They're amazing.
Okay, if you got a little bit extra money in your pocket and you want an electric bike, they have the Stormer bike here. This is the demo one. And it's only $5,000 for this electric bike right here. But you can pedal it like a regular bike and when you get tired and lazy like me after one block, it's completely electric. Okay, we're at the top of the food court, but we're on one side. The other side is the boats and the back is the RVs. I actually want to go do that pedal boat thingy right there. There's the RVs. I love the little teardrops. We almost bought that 17 footer last year. So, and the vans, the, the vans are beautiful. Go. Oh. And there's my family right there. All right, this is the other side here. They had a boat in our RV as big as your wallet is. Step. That's what I'm talking about. You know, I got my big girl, my van. This is a Savannah van Explorer. But look at those, there'd be no late room. That's like the bad thing. Everything's gotta get so close. Well, I'm sure you move it up though. See, I don't ever have to worry because I'm always in the front seat. <laughs> it's amazing, it's uh, $64,000. I like the uh, the windows on the top on the side. Those are windows up there. There's a big TV right there. This got three rows of seats. My van only got two rows of seats, the one I got right now. That's the inside of it right there. Looks like you're in a private jet with all the captain's chairs and then the one bench. So that's two, four, six, seven, eight, nine people. All right, now here's a Mercedes one. See, you know me, I don't like them exactly that big because there's a lot of lots I can't get them in. So I don't know if I can get this one in the lot. I can barely get my Astro Van in some lots because I lifted the back a little bit. This is the Mercedes one for 51000 I mean, these tops are beautiful. I never used to like them, but it got the sunroof, the windows all around with the big TV. And this one fits five, six, seven in this one right here. And it's a smaller van. It's not as big as the Savannah. Let's see if I get the whole van in there. It's a smaller van. It's a lot smaller than the Savannah. I gotta show you this game. We gotta make one of these for the backyard. It's hard to see. All the way in the back, right there. All that is is a little hoop screwed into a piece of wood. And the kids, you let the rope and the string go. And if you hook it on the wood, you win. See it? That thing they've been keeping the kids occupied forever and the adults. Okay, we finally made it to the RVs. This RV is beautiful and it's only $17,000. Let me see, it's a key, it's from Keystone RV Company and it's the model 2017. It's the Hideout 272 HLS travel trailer and it is, I'm trying to see what size it is. Oh, I'll get the size for you, it doesn't say size in here, but look how amazing this is. You got a bunk bed right here on the side and then the queen bed, The not queen, it's probably a, a, a small amendment for two. Look, at, this is the first time I've seen this. You can walk around either side of this where the TV in the front room is and the bed is on the other side over here. Want to go around to the bedroom? Uh, this right here, I didn't go on the outside, but this right here is actually a bump out in this one that slides out. So, uh, the bathroom, let's see what the bathroom is. This is not bad for $17,000 and it has a separate shower and bathroom. So I would venture to say 
So I venture to sleep one, two, three, four, sleep six is what I would venture to say. But uh, regular price is twenty one thousand eight hundred, but on sale right now at the boat show is sixteen thousand nine hundred dollars. Amazing. Thank you. Okay, this one right here is fifty four hundred pounds total weight. It's almost exactly the other one, a thousand pounds less though. But what I love about this one is your bedroom got the doors that close on the side. They're sliding doors and it's closed off the bedroom. Not only that, it has this one right here is actually 21,000. So this one is actually 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 4,000 more at the show, but 10,000 more uh, altogether. These right here, I venture to say, are right about 19 feet to 21 feet. This one right here, actually. It's, it's about 10,000 more than the other one, but it has the outdoor grill, the outdoor sink, the outdoor refrigerator, and it has a stowage where you can tow your, put your stuff on the back also to uh, carry stuff with you. It's from, oh, it's from Timber, Timberview RV in uh, Frankfurt, Illinois. This is pretty nasty. I hate when people do this. Look at all the, all the garbage people left in here. This, they're showing this RV now. This is something I always say. Excuse me, I gotta sneeze. But uh, I always say when I come here, I look for stuff that I, I'm thinking about buying. <laughs> 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, I venture to say this is probably a 16 or 17 foot one. But you walk right in the front door here. And then you got the bedroom right here. It does have a pop out. So it's pretty cool that these little ones are coming with pop outs now for 14 grand. Here's a chair. There's a. Uh, that's going to turn into a bed also. I don't see a TV in this one though. I don't see a TV in it. It does get the air conditioner. One thing my wife does not want. See if she got it. Okay, cool. She wants. Uh, separate shower and toilet separate shower and toilet now if this was a jackass video i'd be going into that toilet right now right but either way this is kind of tacky that people do this i'll get you a picture of this one from the outside but this is something that would interest me see it in this right here that's it right there i got my tow weight on my asher rents 5000 so technically what i should pull on rv wise and they do sell me something that's uh at least 35 uh the most 3500 pounds so uh we found some last year that were rated right at 3500 3500 pound range because they said people are wanting to pull them more now with cars and minivans these are one thing i almost bought one time before this is uh, actually an uh, rv motorhome the bed completely up there these things are beautiful a step up to the bedroom and it should be right here so we got right here the bathroom wow it does have a separate shower and toilet now this is a complete motorhome right here 